Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Who have taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shmuel Shai, and honors and citations to the elect Akim doing these works in sincerity and in truth. Once again, all praises and glory unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. The water Yahweh Shmuel Shai for allowing me to do another lesson. You know, I'm pretty much man. I'm entitled to this. Uh, tell Satan, I ain't falling for that. Okay. You know, and uh, this is what us brothers got to pretty much. How we got to deal with, with, with the spiritual demon Satan, these demons on the left hand side, whose whole job is to uh, 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 um, uh, test our faith in Yahweh Bashar Shai. You know, so this is our Luke 22 and 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I prayed for thee that thy faith fail. Not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Okay. So, that's that, that's a lot within these two verses. You know that that says a lot. So here is a spiritual demon Satan. You know, and um, these left-handed uh, 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 demons, left-handed angels, demons. They desire to have us all right let's go into that word i never went into the word or uh, have you here or right, from the greek word here it says you <laughs> to own you accuse accusative case of you okay all right okay con so, hey, man, Sit, he says Satan desires to have you. <clears throat> Damn, and that's that's crazy, man. You know, if Satan has you, you done. You a two third. You're going to be a demon. <laughs> Satan going to use your body to be a demon. You know, and that's Satan wants. Wants Satan wants the same thing with us. You know? Maybe even others of us more than the, than the next than the next brother, you know who knows. But I I know it's gonna say all things are written four time for our learning. Okay, so you know here it is. Uh, 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 if we happen to fall in this lot, which yeah I believe, you know we probably all do. We all dealing with them spiritual demon Satan. He wants to have us. And that means if he have us, then Yahweh Shai does it. You know, you can't be under the lot of Satan and under the lot of Yahweh Shai at the same time. So all these adulterers and murderers and uh, 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 moles, you know, willingly ignorant, prideful niggas, all these guys, Satan has them. And that's a fact. They're doing all these wicked deeds because Satan has them. And he wants to have us as well. It says that he may sift you as wheat. Yup, right up right out of the truth. <laughs> oh man, that's like uh <laughs> He has like you straining herbs or something. You know, you use a cheesecloth to really sift it out. And when you're done pouring it, you got all the, uh, all right, you got all that, all that pulp, so to speak. <laughs> That's uh, these two thirds. They got, they done got sifted. They done got caught in Satan's net. But guess what? You'll still always have a little bit more. Anybody that dealt, that dealt with like the powder herbs, they'll still have a little bit more in that drink. So you may try and bring it back a second round to get every single bit out of there. And that's what Satan trying to do. He's trying to get us in that second round, man. That second round of sifting. 
But as verse 32 says, but I prayed for thee that thy faith fell not. But Yahweh Shai prays for us, the whole full elect, that our faith fails not. See, that's what Satan wants you to do. He wants your faith to fail. He wants your faith to fail. He wants you to bug out. All right? That's why you got guys like uh, Vo Clown Malone, all these other uh, uh, avenues of, of demons, uh, Sonetta, Polite. All these different doctors of demons, uh, even uh, uh, even uh, wicked amongst the circumcision, they're all they're all vessels of Satan. Because if look, if your job is to get somebody's faith to fail, you are doing Satan's bidding. Okay. Satan wants our faith to fail. Therefore, he's gonna uh, 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 um, do all types of stupid shit to get that to happen. He'll put negative thoughts in your head. He'll put distractions in front of you. All right, so forth and so on. You know? But our faith ain't gonna fail if we have the whole full life. Now, let me just get uh, uh, the dialect between Satan and Yahweh Shai. Right? Because if Satan desires to sift you, if Satan desires to have you, you know, we can see the different ways, you know, of how he gets down with our uh, big brother, Yahweh Shai. Come on now. All right, so lock it. All right, so this is Matthew chapter 4, verses 1. Then was Yahweh Shai, because his name is not Jesus, his true name is Yahweh Shai. Then was Yahweh Shai led up. Of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, the spiritual demon Satan. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered, showing you that Satan tries to get you when you weep. Okay. So, Colin, this is um, yeah, back in Matthew chapter uh, four, verse two, it says, and when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. Right, and I, I showed you that uh, Satan will come. Come at you when you're weak. You know, a lot of these guys sell out because they they in the hoods. They don't got shit. You know, and then that's when, uh, uh, but all they got is a talent. And then uh, uh, some damn either might discover him. And next thing you know, he's in the office getting popped, man. He's sold out. All right. So verse three says, and when the tempter came to him, see, because he's the tempter. So he said, if thou be the son of the most high, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the most high. Dang. And that's bad, man. You know, here Satan tried to tempt Yahweh Shai to get his, uh, pretty much to get, to get his faith to, uh, well, not his faith to fail, but to get the most high to be upset with him. You know, but he had the perfect answers, man. All right. He came with scriptures and cut Satan. You know, <laughs> that's why scripture says, study to show yourself approved. You know, the more you know these scriptures, what? The more knowledge and wisdom is going to be the stability, man. So you could grab Proverbs 2 and 10. Con, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 10. It says, when wisdom entereth into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. And that word, when you go into the word discretion, it goes into um the word purpose, you know? So you basically have a general, you have an idea, or you have a purpose, you know, and nobody can sway you from that. That's why the understanding, as we as we read in, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. All right? It's like, you know what I'm saying, when you're fasting, you know what you're fasting for, and you get them hunger pains, but it's like, bump it. You know, I want to make it to this particular, uh you know, point in time. Because I know, you know, I I see what's what's gonna come afterwards. You know, I want I want these spiritual gifts so bad. No matter what you say, I'm you know I'm doing this. You keep going up. Come on. Uh, verse uh twelve, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man. Come perfect. Yeah, because the evil man is who Satan, man. But it might not necessarily be Satan. Obviously not not in the spirit, but Satan might come to a man in the flesh, man. Like Job, man. His the first. 
The first demon that came into him, the elders had brought this out, man. The Lord took everything away from Job but his woman. You know? <laughs> so that should tell you something, man. That these women got demons on them. They are demons. You know? But anybody that you might, you know, hold dear to. Because we coming into that time, man. To where your so-called loved ones is going to betray you. They're actually going to think. Like, is that scripture say, John 16? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're they, going to think they're doing a good thing. Right. They think they do They think they think do God's service. Yeah. You know? So we got to, hey, man, we got to really lock into these scriptures, man. You bored, get into the scriptures. You know, because there's always something we can learn. Where there's so many different aspects. I mean, you could read. You could, you know what I'm saying? You could read the scriptures for the stories. You could study different topics. You could watch other brothers' lessons, you know? You could look out for news articles. There's so much so much going on in this truth, man, you know? Yep. You want me to keep, continue on? Or? Yeah, you keep going, but, you know, you could even watch, like, end time oh, yeah. movies, too. Yeah, yeah. Because that shows you, okay, if I'm in a situation, what would I do? What preset would I put with this, you know? Oh, the scriptures say this. So now when I read the scripture, I could think of this movie, you know? Yep. It says, uh, uh, from the man that speaketh forward things, who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. What did Job say to his woman, man? Thou talkest as one of the foolish women. You know, get thee behind me, saying thou talkest as one of the foolish women. All right? Because mm -hmm. forwardness is basically ones that, one that they just go after they lust. You know? they go, uh, the, the, My flesh say this. All right, that's what I'm going with. It's no, it's no, it's no, uh, there's no, there's no place where you draw the line in the sand, you know? <laughs> yeah, you think, can you believe Job's wife cursed the most high and died? Like, what? Now, imagine if a nigga didn't have understanding. You going through all this. Oh, like, yo, you right. You know what I'm saying? You, that nigga will be, yo, nigga don't got understanding. We probably would fall for that. But us, we'll be like, what? We got to see the most high when we die. And then we're going to have to answer to all of that. Every idle word we say is going to be accounted there over the day of judgment. That's why it's very important to know these scriptures, man. A two-third would have said, yeah, you're right, bae. You know? And then he would have been out of there, man. But but we know better, which is why the scripture said, the understanding shall keep thee. Yeah, man. Our purpose, our purpose in this truth is to die. Now, it's not to say you know, we all going to die as physically. But all of us is going to die. Our character is going to be killed in this place, man. And that's okay, man. Because our, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, died, you know, to the people. But and he came back. And, and, and I believe that's 1 Corinthians 15. How it said that um it was manifest that the Lord is with him. When the Lord said that he, will put, that he put all things under him. So basically, even though we die in this place, we're going to come back. We're going to come back with more than what we lost. Exactly. You know? So it's okay to die, man. Yeah, even families, you know, you could, hey, you could bring them back, you know, Lord willing. I mean, how was I said, uh, uh, whatever you're gonna ask of me, you're gonna uh, receive it, you know. So, hey, man, ain't ain't no big thing, man. All right, but uh, yeah, with that, man, we about to get in, do this uh, sit down. So we wanna give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakadash. Double honesty, possible, and elders, great millstone, who rule well, who tell us his truth. Honest citation to the elect. Shalom.